Today we actually dig into my storage and I have probably easily 20 old still sealed loot crate boxes from I think the past two years. Long story short, loot crate went bankrupt. They got bought out. New company started fulfilling older boxes. A lot of us didn't get boxes for like eight months. We didn't get any boxes even though we paid for a year in advance. All of a sudden, they just started rolling in. Like, I got like 20 boxes in one month from like the past like 18 months. And at that point, I said, you know what? I've already ended my subscription to Loot Crate. I'm just going to throw these all in into storage. And in the future, randomly, I'll pull out some boxes and open them up. It's kind of like a blast from the past of the Loot Crate bankruptcy. So I got three here. I just randomly grabbed the top three on top of my stack. We're going to do all three in this video. Let's see you... <laughs> What was possible in Loot Crate in the past? So this first one, down here it kind of tells you what it is. Man, there is like a layer of dust on this box. I'm not sure if you can see that. But there's a layer of dust that's been in storage for such... Okay, this thing was the December 2019 Loot Crate Core Box. That was during the bankruptcy, so I probably didn't get it until mid-2020 or so. So, yeah. Here we go. First one. Let's see what awesomeness is in these. Price point on these, I don't remember what I even paid. Back then, you could get a, a year subscription for like half off. Like they're just almost giving subscriptions away at that point. Let's see, first thing. Oh, that's kind of, okay, that's kind of cool. We have Chia Pet, we got freaking Groot. On top of that, we have Chia Seeds. I think it might be broken though. It kind of sounds broken. So then this, this package is rattling around. Is Groot broken? No, he's not broken, but there's stuff inside of Groot. Maybe. That. <laughs> There's stuff inside of Groot's head. Probably shouldn't be there. But anyway, so there's the first thing. A Chia Pet Groot. This actually might sell pretty decent. What's kind of what's funny, a lot of these Loot Crate items in these boxes, some of these actually sell for pretty good money. Quite a few of these boxes, whenever I sell this stuff, I actually turn a profit off these boxes. There, there's been stuff in the past that I thought was absolute junk. I thought on eBay, it sold for like 20 bucks. I forgot to put this back in there. One second. Groot first item. Next, let's go ahead and pull this out. All right, let's do a t-shirt. We have a like size 3XL navy blue t-shirt. That's what it looks like. We have Winter Soldier and Snowman Captain America. Okay. <laughs> Christmas themed shirt, obviously. Next item. Monthly pin, it is an ice cube. It's literally just an, a pin of an ice cube by Loot Crate. We have a deck of playing cards. It says Nakatomi Plaza. I'm not too sure. Oh, from Die Hard, the movie. I gotcha. Ready set of playing cards. And then last item in this first box from Lost in Space decals. So it's funny, back after the bankruptcy, whenever, um, who bought them out? Money Chest LLC. Whenever they bought them out, they literally just started fulfilling old Loot Crate boxes, just literally pulling stuff out of storage and just throwing them into boxes and fulfilling boxes. So all these boxes could have items from past Loot Crate boxes from like years ago because uh, they were just trying to just fulfill boxes that, that you know, that, that were already paid for. There's the first one. So, what's your thoughts in the first box? I probably only paid, I bet you, 10 bucks for that box. Because the base Loot Crate box was super cheap. So, this one is the January 2020 Fright Crate. Or, if not Fright Crate. What do they call this thing? The Fright Box. Whatever it is. Here we go. Right on top, we've got a t-shirt. Size 3XL. Might keep it, might sell it. Depends on what it looks like. Anything that I do sell, 
There's a direct link to my eBay in the description of this video. Here we have a skeleton, kind of like a blood moon and a clock. I'm not too sure what that's supposed to be. The tag says, The Mask of the Red Death. Loot wear exclusive. Oh, Loot Fry. It's called Loot Loot Fry is the box. I don't really know. Decent graphic. I won't keep it. Next, we have a vacuum sealed. This might be a pillow. It comes like a pillow. Front and back. Some weird object on the pillow. Okay, I'm not I'm not scared yet. Next, like you notice, these have no cheat sheets because pretty much nobody got the same box. We all just got random stuff from, from, from the warehouse. Have a little bag, and on it is HP Lovecraft. It's a really cheapy little, like a tote, tote bag. The last item in this box, we have a Frankenstein book lamp. Something like this actually might sell pretty well. A Frankenstein, oh, this will be, oh, a book lamp. So this will actually will connect onto the book you're reading, and it just will cast a light onto your book so you can see what you're doing. If it's Frankenstein, kind of a Loot Crate exclusive, or this is a Loot Fright exclusive, this actually might go for decent money. Some of the stuff I told you earlier will surprise you. Or if you go to sell this stuff, some of this, like this bag might go for, I doubt it very much, but something like this, this random, I think, pretty sure it's a pillow. This might go for decent money, depending on what this item is. This kind of looks like a Kraken, kind of, ish. A Kraken with wings, maybe. Not too sure. I ended my subscription to Loot Crate early 2020, whenever they owed me all these boxes, and of course they were bankrupt, and a lot of people like me, we just ended the subscriptions. You know, we just, I think they're they're still in business. Um, they're still making new boxes. I don't know how or why or why anybody would still subscribe to them. Maybe they're doing awesome now. Since they're under new ownership, maybe the new owners are just freaking incredible. And the value getting your boxes maybe is just unheard of or something. I don't know. I haven't watched anybody unbox any of the new Loot Crate boxes. I'm sure there's, there's probably some smaller YouTubers out there who maybe do the new Loot Crate box. I'm actually kind of curious now. I want to go on YouTube and just search in Loot Crate newest box or, you know, like the newest uploads. I'm kind of curious of what you're actually getting in your boxes now. Here we go. Next box. Oh, what, what was this? Hold on. This was... February 2020 core. This is just the February 2020 like core loot crate box. Let's do a t-shirt first. We have a gray t-shirt. Very, very soft. Dimension C-137. There's all kinds of stuff in that shirt. Crystallized Xanth. Xanth. Oh, it's Rick and Morty. I got Rick and Morty logo on the bottom of the shirt. Rick and Morty t-shirt. Cool. Okay. Never watched it, but it's a very popular show. That much I do know. I actually met the creator of Rick and Morty, uh, Justin Rowland, a couple years ago. Cool guy. He signed a pop for me, too. We have a, an Adult Swim Kid Robot Rick and Morty little vinyl figure. It's still factory sealed. I'm not going to open this thing up because I'm just going to sell this by with, with the t-shirt. Throw them together as, as one. Next, monthly pin. We have a hammer that says LC, obviously for Loot Crate. Maybe like a Donkey Kong hammer or something with a Mario hand. Not too sure. Okay, next item. This is actually kind of heavy. What is this? Oh, we have a coffee mug. Okay. Oh, we have, looks like Pinky in the Brain. World's best takeover. Takeoverer. Different? We got a mug. Property of Acme Labs. Animaniacs. Pinky in the brain. Okay. That's not bad. It's actually kind of cute. How much I pay for this box? I don't even know, honestly, at this point. I canceled my subscription over a year ago. I don't even know. These are old boxes. Then we have a Samurai Jack animation cell replica. A little different. Animation cell. Oh, it actually goes this way, I guess. Animation cell replica. 
Okay. And then we do actually have... Oh, okay, these are like their cheat sheets where you scan this. It's supposed to tell you what was in, in the box. Whenever you scan it, there's nothing there. Because they just started filling these boxes, like I said earlier, just with the random stuff. So, actually, this last box is actually, I think, best out of all three. Actually, had some decent stuff in this last box. So, these are some Loot Crate Blast from the Past boxes that I actually had in storage. I have more. Next video, I'll probably grab another three or four boxes. We'll do we'll do more in like a future video, just randomly. Whenever I'm like, you know what? Let me crack some loot crate boxes from like two years ago. It's time. So stay tuned for that if you want to see it. If not, I'll see you in a different video. Catch you next time.